technical difficulties. So yeah, my uh, computer crashed. <laughs> Hard crash, that's always fun. That feels really stupid. Oh well. Let's see if we can get everything up and running again. At least it wasn't a world record run that I lost. Or, well, lost. It was, it was done. But. Principle still stands. And now I know why I have focus assist on. Thank you. Oh. Zoom. Looks like we are up and run. Wait, what? Okay. Why is Twitch being unpleasant with me? Yeah, I literally can't see. Okay, let's kill Chrome, let's open Chrome, because I can't even see chat right now. There we go. Now we're cooking with oil. Turn on dark theme again. Again. I don't, yeah things sometimes. Technology, don't you just love it? Well. Just gonna mess with a friend right now. So a friend of mine has been giving me flack for not streaming recently. And I see he's online watching someone, but not me. So he's not going to get away with that. So I don't know why dark theme just shits the bed every now and then. But oh well, it is what it is. Let's try this one more time. Let's go. So yeah, commentary again. <laughs> Second run of the evening. So this is Dundara by Long Hat House. It is a Metroidvania platformer where the main thing is you do not walk, you jump everywhere. So any white surface is jumpable. That's how you traverse the environment. Gravity has no meaning. So besides jumping, you have a shot, a couple sub weapons, and the ability to block damage if you find it somewhere in the world. Right now, what we're doing is running over to get the first weapon upgrade that will hopefully help us with a quick kill on the first boss. Jump, jump. Wait. There. 
So this increases her attack power. You get an extra shot with your basic attack. And now a death warp. If you die, you leave your soul behind. You lose any experience or salt that you have on you. And you create a... Yeah, your soul is left there. So you can pick that up to regain your salt that you lose. And you're warped back to the previous campsite that you rested at. If you die again, well, then you make a new soul and your old one is lost forever. So you can do some death abuse. Just warp very long distances if you want to. Now we're going to pick up this, a health potion. With salt, you can level up your health, your maximum energy for sub-weapons and the block, and the effectiveness of health and energy potions. And picking up a couple now, just for some extra safety. So this game is mostly about execution. There are only a couple few minor clips we do in the game in any percent. Nothing too, too major. Uh, otherwise, it's mostly just movement optimization and not dying. Something I'm unfortunately very bad at. So we'll see how this goes today. Rest of that one because we're going to death warp back here. Oh, well. ah, that's less good. Do that for safety. So I'm aiming now for the world record is 49.48. Right now I'm aiming for sub 55 because that means I'm decently consistent, which I feel is more important than world record pace at an event. So that's why I picked up the health potion there, a bit of extra safety. I'm picking up some other small optimize or some other safety nets along the way. More than that shouldn't be needed. So, first mini boss, if you stand right here, you are completely safe if you kill him before, or even if he turns around. His next salvo will completely miss you. So let's see if my friend replied. No, oh, there we go. Dodge a bit and wait. So I'd love to tell you what the story of this game is about, but I barely know it myself. Uh, I think it's something, something oppression, killing the people, or putting the world on the brink of destruction. Dundara awakens to uh, put things right. Maybe I should ask Brent exactly what the... Thing. That's as much as you get in the game, but... It's like, okay, logic is killing creativity. Uh. Do you need to know more than that? We jump on things, we go fast. It's fun.
also with me for this run. Hopefully, I would have my friend Growth Kasei sitting next to me, giving some additional commentary. He used to speedrun this game for a while. He also worked with the developers. He did some QA for them, so he knows this game very well. So I could give some insightful commentary on the game, perhaps some behind the scenes thoughts. One cool thing about this game is that it is designed both with uh, cell phones or smartphones and consoles in mind. So they wanted to make a control scheme that worked universally, or a, uh, a design that worked no matter what platform you play it on. So there is an Android and iOS version of this game that apparently works quite well. So now we have the Johnny B missiles, which are mostly used as a progression tool. So we can use them to break these blocks. That's about it. They deal no damage, not really super great in any situation. They used to be able to double hit enemies and that made them super powerful, but not anymore. Quick rest just to refill ref, refill our health. Inglando. Difficult. Let's go. So now we're gonna try to get the quick kill on this boss. He's gonna put out a fist, we're gonna shoot it about six to seven times. He's gonna put out another fist, we shoot that one, and hopefully deal enough damage as to skip the first phase. Hello, Augustus. Put your hands in the air. No, I did it one too many times. Yep. Feels bad, man. <laughs> oh well, we'll just have to make sure our quick shots are on point. Okay, there we go. And now we avoid his shots that are targeted towards your position, so you just jump back and forth and you, be, you will be fine. No, this is a horrible time to be calling. And he had one shot left. Mother Dearest just checking in on me. I know how to multitask, it's fine. And there, bam, more salt. As if there isn't enough salt in me already, but you can always have some more. Mostly fine when I play this. So I'm just mashing all my experience into health because we need nine hearts to be able to do a minor skip later on in the run. So I just want to make sure I have the health needed to be able to get through there. I shouldn't really need the bracers. Yeah, well then. So this bridge is where we'll skip back because you're not supposed to be able to go this way on the way back. 
But we're gonna ignore that and do it anyway. Yeah, let's skip the bracers, we don't need them. We'll be fine. I got the... The extra potion instead should do wonders for me later. Even though it's a bit bad against the final boss where I might need it because you don't really have time to heal. Those shots were a bit wonky there, I must say. No? So touching one of those refills your health. Also gives you a clue about how they died, so some background storytelling. One of them is a bit of foreshadowing later on that can help save you. Usually, it doesn't because people just run straight into it. I love that movement because it looks so silly. Now I have four hearts going through here, which means I can just blaze through. So a lot of this is adapting on the fly, like how much health do I have? Uh, like there I had four hearts, so I could take three damage, no problem. Rest. There we go. room to save out quite a bit of time. Oops. There we go. There. Oh, a bit far north. Let's see if I can do this quickly. Oh yeah, that was very clean. So that was our first energy potion. We're probably just gonna get that one. Jumping through here. I don't need any of those if I get the energy upgrade here. And if I'm doing brace for the. Oh, oh. Um, there we go. Kinda want it for the for the thingy up here, I guess. You know what? I'm gonna play it safe here. Yeah, fuck that. That means I should have enough on the way back. So yeah, that extra heart means I have to do a bit of a more risky strat. Should be fine. Should be able to bombard the mini boss with missiles from a safe distance and then go in, finish him off with two quick shots. Six. I think he deals five with this bite. So should be fine anyway. So two. That's fine. Everything's fine. Yeah, 
Now we get the Rock of Remembrance. Allows us to make platforms do a thing. That's about it. So any platform with a skull next to it will be activated now when we get close. Or any mechanism, rather. That includes quite a few traps. Dancing. Wait. And there is danger. Don't need a rest there now because I've got full health, almost full health potions, so we just blaze through. Ow. Actually, I don't even need to open the shortcut now because I have so much health and I have the extra health potion. One, two, three. Okay. Yeah, some, you have to hit the purple part to be able to damage the turret. So, shooting a bit low makes it a bit odd. There we go. Now we are going to pick up the second and last sub weapon for the run the memory shaft. So, it shoots a laser. The only weapon in the game that can deal damage to Dandara. So, we're going to abuse that. Oh. Go. All right. Quickly just get out of here. Now, because my energy is so low, I actually only have one shot at this trick. So, let's hope I get it. There we go. So we'll go there. And about there, I think. And then we'll jump. Then we are really sad that we are li literally like a pixel off. That's never happened before. Uh, well then. Luckily, there is a bit of a backup. Uh, to go through here. Oh, I only have one heart. Ouch. Um, I'm gonna pick that up while I'm at it then. Might as well. It's going this way anyway. So with a very well-timed jump, you can actually... Oh, there we had it. Uh, this is the very much slow... Hey, come on. That was it. There we go. That's a lot slower than the, uh, than the skip that we do otherwise. Oh yeah, I was a like a pixel too low. Uh, to do that, the shortcut. Just be a bit careful here because I have to remember that there are now sand pillars, and we're out. Oh, not completely 
now that I think about it. Now there is one enemy. And that means I didn't get the salt that I want to down there. Oh well. I usually pick up a chest in the other room on the way out, but oh well. We'll make it work. Not really sure what pace I'm on right now. Oh. And now back in the big circular room, but now with added sand pillars. And lo and behold, it's a boss. Up we go. So, shoot the heart. And just quick shot, quick shot, quick shot, quick shot is the name of the game here. I do short jumps to maximize the time you're shooting. Uh, up, so if you do it before the missiles start the second time, that's pretty good. I'm not sure if fellow runner Granux actually did it before the first cycle. Not sure how though. It's down. No, it's up there. Two chests on the left means you're going the right way. Okay, I recognize this situation with my salt from a previous run. So that just means I'm going to, come on, I'm gonna take a safety chest on the way, just to make sure I have enough salt for my next levels. Now this is where things could get a bit dicey, considering those big purple things deal two hearts if they charge into me. The good thing is that if you kill an enemy, it won't respawn until you rest at a campsite. So you can play a bit safe and just kill everything to clean out the way if you know you're going through a room twice before a camp, like this one. Wait, that was seven, wasn't it? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Health potion efficiency. And we're off. So I'm going to go through this short bit twice. Okay, that's a bit bad though. A bit more damage than I wanted to. Do that just so I don't accidentally die here. I just wanted to discover that camp. Then we're done. So here we go. Deja vu. Go back. Ah, 
I think we're on a uh, decent pace at least. Yeah, I wasn't out of here for like 30 minutes last time, I think. No, don't jump back and forth and almost get sniped. Whoop. Yep. There. Quickly jump through. We're in the intention capital now. The purple area. Where everything gets a bit more difficult. First we have these triangle ow, that wasn't intended, but oh well. These triangle dudes. Seeking missiles that really hurt. Nine, I'm gonna heal. Atmos, 30 minutes left, that's fine. And now we're going to fight our first scythe enemy. They dash, they deal three hearts of damage. And they are just a plain nuisance. And sometimes, like, hiding in the ground. There we go. My last run, which, almost world record, I died three times to that. A vast improvement. And that's why I want consistency. That was just a horrendous part. But now, happy times, we have the Stone of Intention. Allows us to flip platforms upside down. And we... Death Warp. So now, you're going to see why we need those nine hearts. Might be able to figure, have figured it out. It's for this place again. So we're going to stand far, far left and then just fly away to victory. Stupid thing, Dundara is like the only gain where you lose salt and gain salt at the same time when you die. Now comes the big clip of the game. So, I've been abusing some damage boosts here and there, get through small gaps. This one is even better. If we. Whoops. We shouldn't be talking at the same time. So that platform is slightly oscillating back and forth to the left and right, or yeah, left to right. And if you jump towards the platform and take damage, you'll be boosted through the platform. If you're on the correct frame and correct angle, it's a decently precise trick. But because there's a camp right here, we can quickly reset and bam. We're through. Pearl of Dreams. And now we actually need to save and quit. Because we can get out of there otherwise. And now the Dream Pearl allows us to travel to any camp we've discovered not rest at. So, I went down here to see that one quickly. Just be able to teleport it to it. And now we're at the, in the end game. So let's see. I heal for two, so make that three, four. Ugh, should be fine on the way. And 
this is where the game really ramps up in difficulty. Okay, that's getting a bit bad, but we're fine. A quick crush of the jewels, and we're through. Get over here, please. Okay, it looks like you shot two solos, but oh well. Rather get hit by the salvo than the big freaking laser beam. go. That unlocks the gate. Oop. Now we're going to get that. Got quite a bit of salt now, so now we're going to just do a quick level up before we tackle the fortress proper. Let's see. I think I'll lose less health damage boosting through this room than if I try to do it intended way. So, bam, we're through. <laughs> Otherwise, I have to kill both those minotaurs to deactivate the lasers, and it can be a pain. Same thing here. I'll take care of that one just in case something very tragic happens, but we should be fine. Too quick on the draw. One, two. No. So if you hold any directional input while you try to flip those, it'll try to do a jump instead, which is bad. There we go. No, oh, this is a room where a bunch of things are shooting at you. One, two, three. Heal and continue onwards. Now we go left side. I usually go right side, left side because left side is so much more difficult, in my opinion. So those guys either jump when they take damage or if you jump while close enough to them. And every time they emit a shockwave, which is a good way to panic because you see a shockwave and you jump and then another shockwave comes your way and you jump again and all of a sudden you're dead. So one way to do it is jump at them or jump while you're damaging. But the... <sighs> that was silly of me. They can only traverse if the angle is less than 90 degrees. I mean more than 90 degrees. Wow, that's not fair. Let me jump up, jump under him. Okay, maybe not under him, after all. I am not going to survive the next section. That's a given. 
So I'm going to do what I call a tactical death. So I try to get my whoa get my spirit in a advantageous position. So if I or when I die, I can use that for a free health boost when I get back. So for example, I'll try to juke this one. Destroy that. So now I just need to get there to get my spirit back. Or get my salt and health refilled. I could try going super slow, but this is a speedrun after all, so we don't want to go super slow. If only we could damage those somehow without having to go through the area and like shoot through the wall somehow. And then you shoot at me, I block you twice. Okay, not what I was intending, but oh well. Ouch. There's your bad habit of being in the ground again. Thank you. Oof. Okay. Okay, let's go. We got this. It's cool. Not if you do that, though because the timing for that room is quite precise. If you do it very well, then you can destroy the wall before the scythes jump at you and get through without a problem. And then if we more or less kite this enemy. Oh no, I do not like this. There we go. <laughs> get a bit too eager so I'm holding a directional input while trying to go through and that just ruins my day. I'm here at 38? That is uh, not too shabby actually. Do I want to risk it? This room has one of the probably the worst enemy in the game, the Sorcerer. Just because of the way they move, they shoot out three bullets like that in a pattern. It can be really horrible to deal with. But there's a chest in there worth quite a bit of salt. Uh, oh no, iframe saved me. care of that first in case the extra salt gives me what I need to get another level. Let's see. Yeah, let's do it like that. So 13 hearts. My potion heals for four. And energy is pretty much completely worthless at this point. So even if I fail the boss three times like I did last run, this could be good. This could be real good. So, first phase of the final boss, giant TV screen.
dashes are dangerous. Oh no. So, phase one done. Those crush it, or if he just moves you into the wall, instant death. No fun. And now is a big amalgamation. Uh, amalgamation. Language difficult. Oh no, I don't want to do that. So he has a couple attacks. He has the missile barrage. He has the shoot the bullets. Sh shoot out some masks that follow you. And then a laser beam. And then he has empowered versions of those as well. And those missiles do one full rotation around. So, if you jump up, go back, it's fine. When he gets down to just about half HP, then all his attacks become empowered. So, he shoots missiles in both directions. He shoots a longer barrage. And every time you damage or you take out one of the protective barriers around him, then uh, two masks spawn. It is possible to hit two of these at the same time. Uh, not again. This happened last round. Uh, oh, that actually connected. Interesting. Oh, no. And now I just have to take it easy, because otherwise I'm going to lose a world record to being greedy all these different things floating around. Whoa. So now I'm having to keep track of quite a few things at once. Oh, I'm almost dead. He's almost dead. This is interesting, to say the least. No, I jumped too early. That's no good. That was it. That was the run. If I, I accidentally did the get bopped while healing prop thing. So, if you take damage while you're using a healing potion, the potion is consumed and you don't get health. And I got some really bad patterns there, like... I've never seen the yellow missiles before today, and I've gotten them like three, four times now, in two fights. So that's a bit unfortunate, to say the least. So I'm going to avoid the upper left corner. And then I get forced into it. Oh, that's sad. I wanted to save that. Okay. So, defeat the boss in a timely manner, and this will still be world record. Just that my attacks deal no damage. Okay, I'm getting lucky with patterns now because this is quite a good attack in many ways. This one, not so much. And I used the wrong ability. Oh, oh, I jumped under it. Cool. And then I jumped into it the next time. So yeah, now I have to keep track of two different attacks, three attacks at the same time. I don't want 
gonna shoot right there in the middle. Wow, you are really liking these right now, aren't you? Give me a break. I decided to just tank it there because who cares? Oh yes, laser beam. So if I stay just behind it and start attacking, that's like one of the best attacks. There we go. We in there. And now you have to mash through the ending credits. And forty seven forty nine. So that is actually forty seven forty nine, unless I'm mistaken. Yep, that is a new world record by two minutes or one minute and fifty nine seconds. So, that is Dundara Andy Percent. I hope you enjoyed it. And that's it for me tonight. Hope you have a great day. And if this is the. If you're watching this as part of the submission, hope you enjoyed it. And I hope to see you soon. I'm Agri. Have a nice day.